Yeah. Ugh. Where the hell are they? They said they'd be here at 9.30 sharp and it's already 39 blunt. Boy, if they don't get here before I finish this sentence, I'm gonna be real angry. Oh. And there you are. What's your excuse this time? Well, you can't always expect me to be a hat on time. It's a hat in time, you bloody bellend. Living in the city. It's like a roller coaster. Hey guys, look! It's a hat in time! I have to stay very still because I don't have a green screen, so I'm just masking myself out. Okay, listen. All right, let's go on with the video, shall we? Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. A hat in time starts you off as hat kid, being a sleepy peepee in her room. Oh, shit, I gotta make a video! Uh, witness the amazing teleportini! Who the hell put bubble bath mix in my pillows? About five minutes into the story, you'll find out that Hat Kid actually owes money to the Mafia. Okay, that's a little out of context, but, but that's how the adventure begins. You crash land on a strange new planet filled with Mafia, and there's already something interesting right ahead. But screw that shit, we're going exploring! I spent the first 30 minutes of this game just running around, collecting these little gem things and balls. I don't even know what they were for, I was just having a fucking blast. I got some string! Okay, we should probably make some actual progress. Hey, some paper! Ooh, is that more string I see? time right from the very first level had me just enthralled it, it was wonderful and I don't want to make any comparisons to any other games that I played recently you know but uh let's just say it didn't uh, force me down any automated paths if you catch my drift instead when I decided that the main story could wait it said go ahead see what there is to see grab some gems grab some string learn about animal abuse seagull say no punch I have child mafia punch seagull with child Fuck you, seagulls! And then when I finally did decide to follow the main path, it showed me more cool stuff off to the side. Okay, there's one, two... Oh, where's that third one? Hey, you can! Ha ha! Ha ha! Uh oh! What have I done? Anyway, we're not here to mess around and have fun! We're here to play a freaking video game! So! What can this hat kid do? Well, aside from murdering a fellow human being, hat kid can also... jump. Very nice. Double jump. Also very nice. She can leap, leap in the air, stop her leap in the air, which does wonders for precise platforming. Leap after leaping if you time it right for a speed boost, run up walls, wall jump, pull yourself up ledges, homing a deck, which is a little wonky to use sometimes, but it's nothing to complain about because you've got the Incredibrella! You can fucking hit things with it. Pet kit controls like a dream, a, a short, adorable dream. I never got frustrated with this control scheme. I felt like I was always 100% in control. It's such a fluid control scheme here. I was wondering if the way Hat Kit automatically ran up walls would get annoying, but nope. The levels are all designed around her kit and it makes just running from place to place really fun. But that's not all, of course. We aren't just here for the controls. Let's not forget what that title reads. So let's talk about the collectibles. So the most basic collectible are the gems and balls here, which I shall dub gem balls, which are scattered throughout the levels. The gem balls act as a currency, which you can use to buy badges from. Jim Sterling? I don't know he's in this game. The badges you can buy offer a variety of special effects, such as magnetism to make grabbing those little gem balls a lot easier, a grappling hook, which I actually think should just be part of a kit because it's taking up a slot, which I could be using for laser beaming, or, or even I could just use that slot for taking pictures with the camera badge. Witness me. Or you could even get a better cooldown on all your hat powers, which I shall also explain now because there's a couple of collectibles that also happen to affect the hats. So the hats. The main focus of the game, these crazy, wacky, wonderful things. How do we get them? How do we use them? What secrets do they hold? Hello there, and welcome to Mail Time with Rad. Today we'll be opening one litter. That's all I got. 
It's nice though, thank you. This is all the way from America and from one Michelle. Although it might not be her name, there could be a parent or there's a cat on here. So it could be the cat's name, don't know yet. Let's open it up and find out. Ah, oh, fuck it. Here we are. Radical Soda. You got a Chaos Emerald. The most recent one. Which is a reference to my Sonic 1 video. There's the Chaos Emerald. Lovely. Very nice, thank you. Let's see what the rest of this letter has to offer. I'm hoping this isn't edible. A little sticky. It's okay though. I'll put it down here. Turns out the <laughs> turns out their name was not Michelle. That must have been a parent or their cat. This young man's name is Max. Thank you, Max, for the letter. I have read it through, and thank you very much. I hope you continue to enjoy my videos in the future. And that concludes Red's mail time. And then the lava poured up from hell, and that's how we got the hats. You can make more of these hats just by finding yarn hidden throughout the world. Each new hat needs a certain amount to be made, although I was exploring so thoroughly I never needed to find more yarn, with the exception of the last one, which I think was missing one or two. You got the runny hat, the explodey hat, the freezy hat, the spooky hat, and the timey hat. And the regular hat, but who really gives a shit about that one? Each hat serves its own gimmick. Uh, some are more useful than others, obviously. Uh, the regular hat shows you where your goal is, something I used a grand total of once at the very start of the game. The sprint hat's cool, but I barely ever use it because I feel that the hat kit controls pretty well already, and you can't even double jump when sprinting. Uh, the brewing hat's useful in a couple of boss fights, but apart from that, you'll only really be using it for exploding barrels and the such, which I didn't mind switching to it for that. The ice hat's really only useful in specific circumstances. You can use it to springboard to certain places, and it can also be used to hit enemies, like a tanuki suit with a shockwave, and the time hat allows you to slow down time, which is quite useful for hazardous platforming, and it's my favourite hat of them all. You can of course use the Sonic hat to run really fast, and the Odyssey hat to control enemies. Okay, just kidding, can you imagine the lawsuits? These hats are from the Steam Workshop! This game supports mods like new hats, alternate dies, and new levels! There's even a mod where a ghost chases you throughout the entire game! Oh god, oh god, it's after me, Jesus Christ, what am I gonna do? Jim Sterling, help me! Ah! You've also got the tokens that you can collect to let you have a try at the slot machine to unlock cosmetics, which are pretty cool. Man, it, it's a pity that it's $2.99 for three tokens, because I really wanted that Santa hat. Sorry, sorry, what's that? Oh, you're saying they're free to unlock as a reward for actually playing the game? What do you know? They're, they're not, they're not actually 2 dollars just in case you were stupid enough to not get that joke. Just making sure. Woo! I love me some Santa hats! Boy, this game sure is great! Woohoo! That hat sure makes you look like Santa Claus! I'm here also! Speaking of Santa... Oh, 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 oh! Hey, Ben! It's... Fuck of his name again. It's me, Soda Claus. This was the only Christmassy thing I could find. Oh man, it's Soda Claus. What did we get this year? Well, for you, Bear Grylls, I got you this great new book all about surviving in the wilderness. Sweet. Now I can actually make a proper show instead of just telling people to drink their own piss. Soda Claus, what about me? Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. You got the best gift of all, Radical Soda. Oh. Uh, but what's this? It's your ad revenue, silly! Oh, 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 right! This is even more than last month! Whoa there! Hold on a second! What? We do have a sponsor this month! We do? That's right! Whoa! What, what is this? <laughs> this is real money? Oh boy! What, uh, who are we getting sponsored by? What, you didn't read the description? It's Amino! Oh boy! How does one partake? It's simple. Just get out your phone. That's a calculator. That's a... What? Amino is a stupendous place where a bunch of people who like the same sort of things can connect by posting and commenting about stuff. Like calculators? No, not like calculators! God, God damn it! look, if you're gonna talk about calculators, do it in your own, Amino. 
Uh, okay then. Uh, please follow the sexy calculator's amino today. Whoa, 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 whoa! I, 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 look at all these aminos! You've got stuff like Sonic the Hedgehog and Doki Doki Literature Club. You need a lot of determination in order to play that one. Did I hear determination? Shut up! Wow, an inside joke for a sponsorship sketch? That's really pushing it. Ah, look! Look, please! The, the Hats in Time Amino! Look at these dedicated fans! Ho ho! That's a good picture, that one right there. I'm actually pre-recorded, so I have no idea what's actually on the screen here. Oh, look! That's some great art by... And if you're outgoing, you can even jump in a chat room and just talk to your fellow Hat in Time enthusiasts. Radical Soda, what's your opinion? This is great! I can finally buy some actual food! D no, on Amino, I mean. Amino who? Uh, Bad Grylls, what do you think of Amino? Um, I like Amino because- Great stuff, Bad Grylls, that's all the time we have for today, unfortunately, but now back to the show! Now, the last of the collectibles are the presents, or relic pieces, which if you put them all together, you get a cool little art installation inside the spaceship, one for each world, aside from the last one. And for each one you get, you unlock a special Pink Rift Challenge. These are basically certain extra stages that you can play for a small challenge. You've got the Blue Rifts, the Cookie World, and the Pink Rifts, the Picture Worlds. The Blue Rifts, on the other hand, are unlocked by, uh... Uh... Man, I just explained how the pink ones are unlocked, so... Uh, in order to enter the Rifts, you just gotta find them in the levels. Uh, you get a picture telling them where they're at, and then it's all up to you from there. The Blue Rifts all consist of platforming challenges, which are really fun to go through. I said it before, but Hat Kid controls beautifully. Even the toughest platforming in this game wasn't too difficult because they always felt in control. Of course, I haven't completed every Blue Rift challenge, so there might still be a few I might get a challenge from. But uh, from what I have played anyway, those were my impressions. The Pink Rifts I have less experience with, I've only done... Two of these, I think? They're less memorable than the Blue Rifts, but they're still pretty neat challenges. They involve hunting down little cranny things so you can progress to the next level. There's also some special pages hidden away in the nooks and crannies too. Collect them all and you get a short little picture book about the character the Rift is based around. Now there are five worlds to explore in a hat in time. You've got the Mafia Land, Bird Land, Spook Land, Sky Land, and Bowser Land! Not to mention the little extra bonus stages in Cookie Land and Picture Land. Now they might not sound like much, but each of these worlds mix it up with almost every... level? Act? Mission, maybe? Anyway, they all have their own unique flair and setting. For example, oh gee, I sure do like this film setting, but I'm kind of getting bored of it. Whoa, now I'm on a western train! What's that, the body part I'm most embarrassed of? No, 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 no. No, it's exploding! Whoa! Oh my god, is that blood? Get away from me! Sure, that's a little spooky and all, but it's kind of worn off of me now. Is that a flying toilet? Oh god, guys, I don't know about this. I think we may have stumbled into a place we shouldn't be. Did you hear that? I, I think it came from around here. Yeah! It's fine, it's fine. Uh, they won't be able to see me due to my incredible hiding spot. Oh, jeez, oh, gosh! At least I have these beautiful statues. Why does this always happen? Whew, safe at last. In Mafia Town, nothing bad could ever happen. In Mafia Town, there's no one that could possibly make my day worse. In Mafia Town, nobody would ever try to steal my money. This is the last thing I expected! And there's much more, but I don't want to spoil it for you, so we're just going to talk about some of the characters now instead. Of course, we've got the mustache kid whose mustache isn't explained at all, so don't even ask. We've got the two bird directors, one who rolls his eyes more and more every time he speaks. That's what a murderer would do. And the other who just can't stop dancing. He's also the one who takes your picture for an ID at one point, which you actually get to edit. Oh boy, now let's check out that ID card. But, where's the ID card? No, oh, no. Oh. oh man, there's no ID card. Screw this man, I'm out of here. All right, fine, I'll keep playing, it's a good game. Ah! You've of course got the Mafia goons who just kind of troll around, and the spooky ghost man who just keeps giving you more and more contracts in exchange for your soul. They're all pretty neat. Uh, my favorite is, of course, uh, Jim Sterling. Have I fucking destroyed that joke yet? This game's got plenty of character, yes, but it's also got another great thing. Humor! There are some really great moments in this game where I found myself genuinely chuckling at something or other. Are you sure you want to leave it hanging? Why not turn around and... 
Now, as fun as this game is, it would be even more fun with a friend beside you, I'm sure. There's apparently a split-screen co-op version you can use right now if you use the console, but I'm really looking forward to the full release of this. Uh, hopefully, it'll support online too, because I don't live anywhere near my friends. I don't know whether it was because I just played this game right on the heels of Sonic Forces, but I really enjoyed my time with a head and time. In fact, I like it so much that I'm not going to spoil the rest of the game for you. As you can get it on PC and PS4 and Xbox, so there's really no excuse not to get it. Unless you don't like fun. What am I doing here? Oh, and while I've got your attention here, can I just say I've got a Twitter. Uh, I do art and Pokegirl commissions, so if you're one of these, please come on down, because uh, I really need the money, because YouTube really doesn't seem to like my channel. Now, how about we end this video with some lovely ghost chase highlights that I had during my time with a hat and goddammit. Uh, roll them. Roll Jesus Christ, this has got to be a nightmare. I just want to get to Mafia Town. Leave me alone, you silly girl. Ow, okay, my fault. Come back here, you mustache bimbo. Whoa, hey, no, no, no. This thing is fucking relentless. Ow, I, I just want to climb these boxes. And no, stop. One box, two box. I may. Ah! Follow me, Rebel Squad. I can't right now. There's a ghost chasing me. Oh, God, now we got to do this in 2.5D. Never fear. I have my strategy of running around and, and, and doing this. Ha ha. You can't hit what you can't see! There it is, finally! Just gotta- oh, oh no, oh no, gotta, gotta grab me some health over here first. Oh, oh god, oh god, where is it? No! Oh! Ah! No, get away! Yeah! I'm stuck on a ledge, I swear to god! <laughs> Screw this! I'm out!